Hey YouTube, this is the Geek Catastrophe channel, and today oh, I'm going to be opening up a Eternatus V power tin. It's a smaller tin, so I was kind of shocked. Um, but still, five packs. Um, I found this at my local comic shop for at least, like at MSRP, like 25 is what these are going for. Um, really wanted one of these for a while. On eBay, they're selling for like 40, so I thought we had a good deal. I thought I'd open it on the channel. Let's get it started. So I was really glad I got to find this at MSRP. I haven't been able to find many things above MSRP around my local area. Um, I did just discover uh, a Walmart from where, about half hour from where I live that has things, a uh, product that they're selling for like the actual right price. And up here I have the me, the Mew, my bad, uh, V-Powers tin, and I got this for at least 20 so that was pretty good towards uh, MSRP. And uh, okay, we got this open, let's take off the top. And then of course, we have the Eternatus V, and we should have five packs here. So two Vivid Voltage, which is a great set, Rebel Clash, a Burning Shadows, oh my, that's awesome, and a Sun Moon. So it would be awesome to pull the Rainbow Charizard out of here. I do already have one, but I mean, another one isn't a bad thing. Um, so that's my goal, or at least the Chunky Pikachu. That is, again, another one of my cards. VMAX or Rainbow Rare, I wouldn't complain. But here's the Eternatus V, which I've heard is a very popular and playable card. Um, all right. Five packs. We'll uh, save Burning Shadows for last, and we'll open this way up to there. So we'll go uh, these. Yep, there we go. The Sun and Moon, then Rebel Clash, then Boot Voltage, and then Burning Shadows. Um, so let's get to it. So I have seen some openings of the of this particular tin, and um, really hoping that I can get some good pulls out of this. I've seen at least the average is around two pulls, but I could be wrong. I already started the pack. Uh, I'm thinking way too ahead. Okay, Team Solve Run, Passimian, Eevee, Psyduck. Spiro, Dratini, Cutie Fly, Parasect Reverse, and a 2 Cannon. Very nice. I plan to hopefully get the Pikachu and the Eevee that pair with this. Um, if I can find it around where I am, I will definitely pick it up. I know it is a popular 10. I'm not sure if I will keep it sealed. I feel like I would just open it just for fun. This is a Rebel Clash. And we have a Steel type energy. Heracross, Electrode, Beware, Binacle, Scyther, Bullaby, Creepy, Magmar, Caterpie Reverse, and a Cramorant. Non hollow. So two green codes in a row. Um, let's see if we can bring up the luck here. Next is. Vivid Voltage. Really would love to pull anything out of this set. I'm really enjoying this set a lot. I've had some pretty bad luck from my local comic shop, so hopefully I can at least pull something. Um, bought two of the V Strikers tins, the uh, Empoleon, and the Tyranitar. I didn't get anything. And also bought a pre-release kit, which I know is kind of iffy with pulls. Didn't get anything at all. Um, so I'm really hoping I can break the streak and pull something. If not, I'd be a little disappointed. And Terrakian non hollow Three green codes in a row. So really hoping that my luck will change. Because if I don't pull anything, I'm probably going to scrap this video. Because I like to at least show that I pull things. Fire Energy, Sableye, Galvantula, Gojo, Wismer, Driller, Whelmer, Cottony, Clobopus, Drone, Rotom, and Beedrill, non-hollow. Four green codes in a row. 
We gotta get five green coats. Hoping we can pull something here. One, two, three, four to the front. And a fire type energy. Seedra. Bodybuilding dumbbells. Acerola. Krogunk. Panseer. Magikarp. Mudbray. Alolan Ratata. Alolan Ninetales. And a Mudstale. So let's recap. So out of this tin, the only thing that was worth, uh, I guess, mentioning was the Parasect Reverse Rare, the Alolan Ninetales Reverse Rare, and then of course the Eternatus V that came with the tin. I have had terrible luck buying tins from my local comic shop and card shop. Um, I have a theory that they might be resealing them on their own. I doubt that's the case. Um, I've just never pulled anything from their tins that I've bought from them, um, or anything in particular. So I really hope it's just my bad luck towards tins, um, but hopefully that isn't the case um, because I really do like their place a lot. So hopefully I get some better luck in the future. Thanks for watching. Geek out. So like I said, five green codes on this entire tin. It's a little frustrating, but hopefully next time we'll have some better luck and hopefully all our bad luck is gone now. Thanks for watching. Geek out.